Slim Chef say, when tomato season is in full swing, turn your bumper crop into a fresh and flavorful tomato sauce. All it takes is a little prep work and some cooking time, and you'll have an amazing sauce that tastes 10 times better than what you can find in the store. Join me in the backyard, I'll show you how it's done. I so love cooking in the great outdoors. To start our tomato sauce, it's so easy. I've heated a little bit of olive oil in the pan. In goes our onion, so that's gonna go in. I've also got a little bit of garlic in here. There we go. Get that mixed around, and now we're gonna add our carrots. Those go directly in. And this trio of vegetables creates a really nice base for the tomato sauce. There we go, Ooh, it's already smelling good. Then you go ahead and add your celery. And now what we're doing here is called sweating. I don't know if you've ever seen that in a recipe before or not, what the heck is that? But what I want is for these vegetables to soften without browning. To do that, we need to ask the vegetables to release a little bit of their liquids. We're gonna use salt, it draws out the moisture from those vegetables, so just a little pinch of salt. We're not seasoning here, we're just asking those vegetables to release a little bit of their liquids. So just cook these for a little bit longer, probably two to three minutes on medium heat. And while those are sweating, let's talk about the tomatoes. Now, I love tomatoes, and make sure you use ones that are really in season and that have come locally, otherwise they don't have the flavor. I'm actually using heirloom tomatoes. Heirloom tomatoes, you see these popping up at farmers markets and all sorts of grocery stores. Sure, they look a little bit battered and bruised, but the flavor is outstanding. I like to use a variety of heirloom tomatoes. I've got a Cherokee purple here. I've got this really beautiful green zebra. So use a mix of different kinds. Remember though that the lighter the tomato, the less the acidity. So you want to have a nice balance between the darker, redder tomatoes and the lighter tomatoes as well. So I'm just going to cut these up into chunks and then they're going to go into our vegetables. See how those have started to release some of their liquids? They're nice and translucent, so it's okay to add our tomatoes now. So in goes our big, beautiful batch of tomatoes. Be careful here, because they want to splatter all over the place. And increase the heat to high. We want to bring this to a boil. And then once it starts to simmer, we can turn the heat down to about medium low. But before we bring that to a boil, we're gonna add a couple more ingredients to add some more flavor. We've got a couple of bay leaves that are gonna go in. We've got some beautiful fresh thyme. This is directly from my garden, so that goes in. A nice pinch of salt. We're not really seasoning the tomato sauce too much here. We're gonna season it at the end, but I wanna add a little bit of flavoring. So a little black pepper, of course, that goes in. And then finally, to deglaze the pan, I'm gonna add just a splash of white wine. Now, you don't have to add this. If you don't have any white wine, that's totally fine. You can use a little bit of chicken stock or vegetable stock, that's okay. So now we just mix all this in. It's already smelling so wonderful. There we go, doesn't that look gorgeous? And now, this is gonna cook for about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on the juiciness of your tomatoes. Make sure you stir it from time to time, maybe every 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go check out the hammock or maybe read a book. Our tomato sauce has been cooking for about an hour and a half. Take a look at it. See how it's all nice and chunky, but very little moisture remains. That's what I'm looking for. So this is now ready to go through the food mill. So make sure you take out these guys first. So get rid of those bay leaves. And now we're just gonna ladle in the sauce directly into our food mill. Then, just grind away. Wow. The flavor of those red ripe tomatoes, the acidity is perfectly balanced. You don't need to add sugar. This is such a heavenly tomato sauce. I am gonna correct the seasoning just a little bit by adding some freshly cracked black pepper to this and a little pinch of salt. 
not too much there. There we go, and then we mix it all in. Look how beautiful that is. That color is so gorgeous. And believe me, you will love this more so than anything that you can buy in the store or get out of a can. It's ready for pizza. It's ready for your favorite pasta. It's ready for dipping breadsticks in. This is such a great tomato sauce. I hope you enjoy it. Happy and healthy cooking.